Welcome back to another installment in New Zealand Bird of the Week. Today, I will be talking about the grey-headed mollymawk, a very beautiful member of the albatross family. I hope you enjoy. One of 12 species of albatross to nest in New Zealand, the grey-headed mollymawk is one of the most striking seabirds, with its grey and or white plumage and bright bill markings, making it one of the most beautiful of the marine birds. Because of its preferred habitat of cold offshore water, this species is therefore a rare sight around the New Zealand mainland. Unlike many albatross species, the grey-headed mollymawk shows little interest in boats, and are thus not nearly as vulnerable to bycatch as other albatross species, although there have been occasional reports it every now and then. Grey-headed mollymawks are found in and around the Southern Ocean, with a circumpolar breeding distribution, with birds nesting on coastal cliffs in the same area as related species, like black-brown mollymawks and Campbell-black-browned mollymawks. Birds tend to be solitary out at sea, and like I mentioned before, don't follow vessels or scavenge on fishery waste to the same extent as their relatives do. Birds form long-term monogamous pairs, and unlike most mollymawks, typically breed only once every two years. Females lay one egg, which is fed through regurgitation by both parents, before fledging at around a mean age of around 141 days old. Birds may live for 30 plus years if the circumstances are right, and can continue to have many young throughout their lives if their young survive past the fledgling stage. The population of the birds on Campbell Island, their main breeding site, has been monitored periodically since the 1940s, and research showed that a major decrease in numbers between the 1970s and 90s, with the cause of the decline being attributed to the movement of the polar front away from Campbell Island, which would have changed the wind patterns and food availability for the birds. Nowadays, around 7,000 breeding pairs call New Zealand home. Thank you for watching this week's instalment in New Zealand Bird of the Week, I hope you enjoyed it. For next week, you now have the option to vote for the grey-backed storm petrel, one of many New Zealand seabirds, and they're also really cute, that's another bonus. For future videos, I plan on releasing a pretty big paleontology video. I haven't made one in a decent amount of time, so be sure to check up on my channel for that. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. See you later!